Shocking. Simply shocking. What the shit, honey? <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilarious tasering scenes in movies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at scenes involving tasers and stun guns that'll make you laugh until it hurts. Stun guns are the number one most thing that I hate now. Number 10, get them out of the water, Piranha 3D. Like shooting fish in a barrel, only instead of a gun, it's a taser. And instead of a barrel, it's an entire lake of man-eating piranha that just woke up to an all-you-can-eat buffet. When the piranhas start to attack the swimmers, Sheriff Forrester plans to take down all the fish at once by shooting her taser into the lake. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work out, and she only takes down a single fish. But it was a valiant effort. At least we learned that a fish will explode if shot with a taser. Get them out of the water! Get them out of the water! Number 9. Burrito. Battleship. Sometimes we do crazy things for love or stupid things to impress a really hot girl, whatever. All Sam wants is a chicken burrito, and Alex Hopper is on the case. What's your name? I'm hungry. He breaks into a closed mini mart, Mission Impossible style, to get the precious burrito. Unfortunately, the police don't appreciate the all-important quest and go after him. Hopper heroically fights on through the pain of two tasers to complete his mission. The burrito was more trouble than Hopper bargained for, but the smile Sam gives him definitely makes it worthwhile. Number 8. Weaver Stance – Meet the Fockers When a family get-together ends in disaster, Greg and his father take off to catch Jack in order to make things right. Unfortunately for them, they meet Deputy Sheriff Vern LaFleur, who takes the law very, very seriously. When Greg starts running while pulled over, LaFleur brings out his taser of justice and fires away and even makes sure to explain to Greg what's going on in his body as he continues to zap him. Your central nervous system has been incapacitated. Then Jack comes to their rescue, only to get tasered himself. Remain calm! Oddly enough though, it turns out to be the perfect bonding experience for Jack and his soon-to-be son-in-law. Number 7. Hooked on a Feeling, Guardians of the Galaxy Who? Star-Lord, man. Legendary outlaw? Peter Quill, aka Star-Lord, has a sentimental attachment to his music, so when he sees a prison guard listening to it, he gets a little upset. Despite the fact that he's in handcuffs and at the mercy of the guards, he tries to get his Walkman back and gets tased for his trouble. And that player is mine! <laughs> this is arguably the most brutal scene on our list, but that doesn't mean he can't score a few laughs. <laughs> he may have loved the song before, but he'll probably have a slightly different feeling toward it after this. No one is hooked on that kind of feeling. Hooked on a feeling! Blue Swede! 1973, that song belongs to me! <laughs> Number 6. Car Boot Taze. Observe and report. When you're a mall cop, it's easy to feel undervalued and powerless. You have to deal with petty punks, driving around in a golf cart, and only being armed with a taser and mace. When Ronnie gets the chance to tase a complete jerk, he takes advantage of it and thoroughly enjoys it. You have no right to put a taser on me! Some may call it a power trip, but Ronnie might call it therapeutic. He teaches this guy that there are worse things than getting a boot on your car. Like 50,000 volts of electricity coursing through your body. Everyone thinks they're fine. Tell someone put something in them they don't want in them. Number 5. Tased in the Nuts. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. The taser. Silent, quick, and effective. Basically a modern day ninja tool. In order to get an ancient transformer, our heroes must infiltrate a museum, and the taser is their weapon of choice. It gets them into the museum just fine, but Leo, who didn't want to use the tasers in the first place, trips and tases himself right in the nuts. Seymour finds him a few minutes later, still twitching and understandably worried about the state of his manhood. And if you think that's the only testicle-related joke in the movie, don't forget that Michael Bay directed this. How many times can you get tased in the nuts? Number 4. I'm Calm. Anger Management. I'll be right there, sir. Dave is a calm and quiet person who doesn't like to come out of his shell. But in a situation like this, even he can't stay calm. What Dave doesn't know is that this is a setup by his girlfriend and Dr. Buddy Riddell to crack his shell. You're on my side of the armrest. We're not going to have problems, are we? What Dave does know is he still hasn't gotten his headphones. He is being told repeatedly to stay calm, and he is feeling anything but calm. When he reaches his breaking point, an air marshal, who isn't part of the plan, doesn't take kindly to his tone and tases poor Dave, making him wriggle in his seat as he utters some interesting noises. <coughs> Number 3. Boss's Daughter, 
22 Jump Street. There are a few things you shouldn't do to your boss. Like, don't have sex with his daughter. And definitely don't brag about said sex, because retribution will be swift and painful. One of us got laid last night. Schmidt? Unfortunately for Schmidt, he does just that while undercover at a college. And he wasn't aware that Captain Dixon's daughter attended that college until it was too late. His partner, Jenko, definitely does not help matters when he announces what Schmidt did to everyone at 22 Jump Street. Schmidt does try to protect himself with the Kevlar vest, but it turns out that he was protecting all the wrong areas. <laughs> Number two, he was freaking me out, Thor. If you have ever wondered just how powerful a taser is, just remember that it can take down a god. Thor wasn't exactly at his best though. His father had just stripped him of his powers, taken away his hammer, and banished him to Earth. You are a vain, greedy, cruel boy! Just when he thinks his day can't get any worse, he chooses the wrong Earthlings to mess with. Darcy is armed with a taser and is not afraid to use it, and Thor is acting a little too crazy for her taste. Like most people, Thor has some tough words for the taser until it hits him and he drops like a sack of potatoes. Alfheim, Dornheim, New Mexico. You dare threaten me, Thor, with so puny a weapon. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. For example, <laughs> lipstick taser. Number one, stun gun demonstration, The Hangover. After a blackout night in Vegas, Phil, Stu, and Alan run around breaking the law and end up in the slammer. To avoid spending the weekend in jail, the guys agree to participate in a stun gun demonstration for a classroom of children. Do uh, any of you gentlemen have a heart condition or anything like that? The children are very eager to shock the trio, and Officer Franklin encourages them to aim for the most sensitive body parts. Alan gets it the worst, since he kicked Franklin earlier, and gets tased directly in the face. Two ways to use a stun gun. Up close and personal. Really <laughs> Director Todd Phillips wanted to use a real taser for this scene. Luckily for the actors, the studio lawyers essentially said hell no to that idea. No! In the face! In the face! No! <laughs> oh, oh, he's still oh! out! He's still out! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.